hello, good morning. Um, I'm so excited to read another one of these letters. They're so much fun. Today we have Lucas. He decided to hide away in the couch and listen as well. So let's see what letter we read today. I feel like I feel exactly like the people in this picture every time I read a letter from this book. Just like whoosh. <laughs> Okay. Let's see. This is the letter for today. It is by Maud Newton. Maud has written personal essays, cultural and literary criticism, and fiction. Her work has appeared in Harper's Magazine, The New York Times Magazine, The Paris Review Daily, and more. She grew up in Miami, where she was often mistaken for a tourist because of her Scottish, Scottish sudden complexion. Now she lives in Queens. <coughs> Dear young reader, as a child, I lived in stories as much as I lived in the world. I read continuously, indiscriminately, going through nine library books in two days, and then going to check out more. My mother bought stacks of novels at garage sales and thrift stores to feed my habit. Some were brittle or moldy, and some were dull tales of good Christian girls or diligent wartime nurses and I devoured them all. My favorite books I read to pieces, the pages coming off in my hands. Now that I'm older, that feeling of sinking into a book is rarer, it's harder, because I've read so much, to find something that feels alive and new. And the more elusive that experience becomes, the more I long for it. When I look back over all the time I used to spend writing about books on the internet, I realized that mostly I wanted to find other readers who understood that yearning and could point me to new stories I'd love as much as the ones I'd loved in the past. When you love the same book as someone else, it's like sharing a secret without saying a word. All good wishes, Maud Newton.